33rd running in the Prairie Dirt Classic. The Toyota Tundra TRD Pro Pace Truck pulls off, ladies and gentlemen. Set back, relax. It's time to get Falsey, the 33rd Prairie Dirt Classic, coming to green. <laughs> Turns one and two. Ryan Gustin thinking about the race lead. Bobby Pierce slides up to the cushion. Down the back straightaway. Can Ryan Gustin re lead lap number one? $500 a lap. Who's going to lead lap number one? Bobby Pierce to the inside. It's the Reaper. Leads lap one. Ryan Ching Gustin. Ching. $500 yep, for like the Reaper. That. Down the back straightaway. The 32 appears going to look to his inside, trying to take the race lead. Here comes Ricky Thornton Jr. Brian Shirley going to muscle his way to fourth. Madden slips back to fifth. Gustin leads lap number two. Yes, I'm work to the high side at three and four. Bobby Pierce to the low side. They're going to go door to door off a turn number four down the front straight away. Bobby Pierce picks up the race lead in 500 hours. Yes, the 32 appears second different leader of the 33rd running of the Paradox Classic. Here comes Gustin on the outside. The 20 RT here, Ricky Thornton Jr. going to run down low in third with Matt. And here comes Shirley, Dennis Herb, Hudson O'Neill, and Shannon Bad behind them. Pierce going to lead a second lap, an extra grand for the 32. So we'll see what Ricky Thornton could do on the outside here in the number 20 RT. We really haven't seen him test the waters up there. And off of turn number two, it's going to pay off pretty good for him. He'll have second. Gustin runs third. Here comes Man and Slider wow. on Shirley. That's for fourth. Yeah. Shirley rolling on that high side. He works to the outside of Ryan Gustin down the back straightaway. Ricky Thornton Jr. next on the hit list for the uh, squirrel. Brian Shirley upstairs. Ricky Thornton downstairs. A hit of steam for the squirrel. Bumper to bumper with Ricky Thornton Jr. We got a car spinning. Fager and Weaver got together on the back stretch, and the caution comes out. Bobby Pierce leads us in the 32. The three has a Shirley and Thornton going to go side by side for that second position down the back straight away Hudson O'Neill and Ryan Gustin follow behind him here comes Hudson O'Neill is there a rocket launching tonight oh Hudson O'Neill sideways and four that's going to ruin his momentum Dennis Irvin Harrington hard on the brakes to avoid contact there and Hudson O'Neill slips out of the top five as the 44 of Madden takes the position off of turn number four it's all Pierce up front Thornton hanging on to second Gustin Shirley side by side for third still and they're coming after the 20 RT of Ricky Thornton yeah Ricky Thornton dude, doing a fine job running the ball cushion Hanging upstairs. Now he's going to transition through the middle of the speedway. Ryan Gesson's got a beat on him down low, down the front straightaway. Good racing action now for the second spot. We'll see if Gesson transitions back towards the bottom. Gustin back to the out in front of the 20 RT and the man Ricky Thornton to the inside now at Gustin side by side for the second spot and the runner up honors down the back straight away give it to the Reaper now Thornton back to his inside but there's side by side lap traffic in front of him as they come down the front straight away it's still Brian Gustin. I guess he's going to dive back down to the inside I don't think that was the right decision Ricky Thornton Jr. is going to try to swipe second away Madaragas right in front of him Ricky Thornton Jr. Ryan Gustin go at it get a throw oh, elbow Thornton does makes Ricky contact. Thornton Jr. he does throws the elbow and he goes to the runner-up spot. Oh. Does he start to push the pedal here? Off of corner number uh -oh. four, Ricky Thornton Jr. is here. He crosses over off of turn number four, side by side of the PDC. Slide job and turns one and two. RTJ takes the lead. Pierce with a crossover. The smooth operator takes control again. Ricky Thornton Jr. going to jump back to the outside as they knife through lap traffic. Here comes Ricky Thornton Jr. Bobby Pierce putting on a show for 50K. Ricky Thornton Jr. going to dive down to the inside. Pierce going to go to the falls cushion. Again, great, great race off of turn number two. Down the back straightaway. Pierce going to go high. This time, Ricky Thornton Jr. is going to go low. Down the back straightaway. He's a second behind him now. Off of turn four. Pierce going to get caught up down low. Thornton has the outside open. Off of turn four. Dillard moves up. Pierce has to get around the thriller here. In a turns one and two. Pierce down low. Thornton up high. Do we have a new race leader off of turn number two? Pierce gets caught up. Here comes RTJ. Hard on the brakes. Oh. Thornton has the outside open. Yeah. Pierce somehow manages to move up the racetrack and down the front straightaway. Ricky Thornton Jr., your third different leader in the PDC. Wow, Bobby Pierce going to dive down to the inside, but Ricky Thornton Jr. trying to drive away and hide down the back straightaway. New race leader, Ricky Thornton Jr. with 29 to go. Now, oh, baby, here we go. See what Hudson O'Neill can do on this falls cushion. Ricky Thornton Jr. going to blast the cushion. Maybe a good battle for second down the back straightaway. Here comes Hudson O'Neill. H.O. for P2. He's got it. Ricky Thornton Jr. going to diamond off the uh, cushion. Hudson O'Neill for second. Yes! Hudson O'Neill on the top side. He's got that rocket one rolling. Is there a rocket launch here tonight? Down the back straight away. The one is rolling. Pierce going to run third on the bottom. Here comes Shepard. Yep. Shepard to, to fourth in the B5. Ryan Gustin, Dennis Herb Jr. side by side behind them. But right now it's Ricky Thornton Jr. collecting another $500. Here we go back to green. Ricky Thornton Jr., Hudson O'Neill, Bobby Pierce. Green's back out. Bobby Pierce going to get a second. What hitter going up on that false cushion, Ricky Thornton? Uh oh. See, I think I proved you wrong. Here comes Bobby Pierce uh -oh. down the back straightaway. Ryan gets in there as well. Now Hudson O'Neill going to throw a slider at Bobby Pierce here on the restart for the runner-up spot off at turn number four. Hudson O'Neill will second. Gustin coming along and Pierce. 
man, Gustin just sticking right there with the 19R. Here comes Hudson O'Neill on the inside. Down the back straight away, still Pearson second. Three wide behind him. Shepard on the outside in the B5. Here comes Shumpy. The 3S is surely follows with Dennis Herb Jr. See if Bobby Pierce can track down Ricky Thornton Jr. So many times he's had a slider on the last lap. Can he run down Ricky Thornton Jr.? Oh, baby, here comes. Three wide. Hudson O'Neill's are three wide with Ryan Gustin. Oh, Ricky Thornton Ricky broke. Thornton, right He's off the pace off a turn number four. Wide, four wide Pierce takes right the lead. What just happened? The caution is out. Oh, Ricky Thornton Jr. off the pace. Something broke. No, it didn't. Go. Psych. Why? Did... Well, Ricky, caution coming out for RTJ. So right now, Ricky Thornton Jr. being told to go behind Shirley in the 3S. And that's in sixth. And obviously, Ricky Thornton Jr. not happy with that. Coming back to green, 21 laps to go in the 33rd PDC. And it's the outlaw point leader, Bobby Pierce, leading the way in 32. Let's see if Hudson O'Neill can get anything done up on that high side. Ryan Gustin to restart down on the uh, bottom. Drag race down the back straight away. And Hudson O'Neill slips up. Here comes Brandon Shepard as well. Good battle for that second spot. Ryan Gustin now for the race lead off turn number four. Pierce with the battle for second. Gustin on the bottom is going to second now. I'm telling you, the Reaper rolling on the bottom here. It falls down the back straight away. Hudson O'Neill ripping the top with Shepard. In fourth, Ricky Thornton Jr. back to fifth on the top side, trying to get around Shepard, but right now it's still Pierce. But right now, Ryan Gustin digging down low in 19R. Down on the inside is Gustin Thornton's there. Oh my gosh, we got a race. It's officially getting fallsy. 85 of the books, 15 and 15 to go, PDC. Top four, you could throw a blanket over him. Down the back straight away, the 32 of Pierce. Holding off three <laughs> wide for second. That's Ricky Thornton Jr. around the middle. Hudson O'Neill on the top side. Gustin down low. Ricky Thornton Jr. Oh back my. to second. Down the front straight away. The 20 RT obviously has a fire lit under him. Here he comes. Hudson O'Neill with a slider. It one and two. Ricky Thornton crosses him over. I don't know how. Down the back straight away, the 20 RT now. Gonna try to take the lead from Pierce off a of turn number four. He diamonds off the cushion down the front straight away. Not gonna go after Bobby Pierce for the race lead, 13 to go. More sliders in a white castle. It's falls. We love you down the back straight away. Side by side with Bobby Pierce. Pierce gonna throw a slider. Says anything you can do, I can do better. Thornton will cross him over down the front straight away. 12 laps to go, 50 grand on the line. Pierce back to his inside slide. Job galore, Ricky hits the cushion bicycles. Off of turn number two, Pierce takes the lead. They're a wheel to wheel, Hoosier to Hoosier. Who's your daddy? It's Bobby Pierce. Off of turn number four, Thornton back to his inside and takes command. Uh, uh, oh, wow. Pierce on the cushion, Gustin and Hudson O'Neill follow down the back straight away, Mike. Half a mile to go. Ricky Thornton Jr. continues to show the way down the back straight away. I think the only thing that could stop him is himself. The 20 R T is your race leader, Ruben. The Barretts one lap to go. Down the back straight away for the final time. How about Ricky Thornton Jr.? He started third. And off a of quarter number four, he will win the 33rd Prairie Dirt Classic. Ricky Fort Jr. wins it here at Falls. Getting ready to climb out of the car. How about it, race fans? Your 33rd Prairie Dirt Classic champion with a world of outlaws, Ricky Thornton Jr. Oh, after that, I was just mad. I, uh, uh, we broke a crank trigger there getting in turn three, and I'm freaking flipping switches and everything else. Finally, it came back to me. So it, uh, I didn't think I was quite that far back, but uh, we just got a little motivation. And uh, after that, I said, screw it. We're going to win or we're going to flip it over. I mean, it's all my crew. It, uh, my job's easy. We got a good enough car where I don't have to run hard the whole time. It, uh, I don't know. It, Bobby was really good there, and, and then I felt like once we got to traffic, I was a little better than he was. So I just knew once once we get to traffic and have a really long run, I'd have a really good shot, and it uh, it worked out for us. It, uh, I, I figured the whole right side was gonna be killed on this thing. So, uh, after I went to the back, I mean, I was it was whatever it takes to get it done. It, uh, so it was pretty awesome. I was giving Rigsby crap just because it, it probably isn't my favorite place, but heck, after that, I think it probably is my favorite place now. So uh, it's nice we can get some PDC shirts made. Uh, Got to thank all, all these great fans out here. Everyone stopping by at uh, Hoker Trucking, Bigger Still. Uh, I mean, we've got so many people else, EMD Wraps, uh, Coltman Farms, Murdy Farms, Eni Outside Services, Bill Stein Shocks, Longhorn Chassis, my crew, my wife, my boys, my little girl got to come out today, uh, Dino One. Uh, just, I mean, there's so many great, uh, amazing people that help us get up and down the road and I wouldn't be able to do it without them. Congratulations. Thank you. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit worldofoutlaws.com.